So, it's the final race, round 16. 32 cars running set to race, but Brad, because Hamlin, Stenhouse, and the Bad Day are all new. That's going to be a final trial to see if they can make the round of 12. Can they do it? I don't know. First up, we've got Bowman the Hex German, Fast Pasta, Avnafredo, Eric and Rolly, and Wilman Kid, Ross Chastain. All four of them are playoff contenders. All four of them are probably safe for the next round, except Amaral. He possibly needs to just need good run to make it into the next round, probably. Find out. 3, 2, 1, and the race is on the way. And Ross Chastain for the win. Okay. Next up, we've got Rowdy and that Jerry's boy, two playoff contenders, and then Custer Cream and Buex. Bush and Jerry's are pretty safe. They have nothing to worry about, to be honest. 3 2 1 and Sunday. And Jones for the win. Kyle Bush tries to spin out the end, and Custer and Truex. They do it the best, to be honest. Next up, got Denny Rails and Chase Leonte, two playoff contenders. Actually, no, three, because Chase Briscuit's also a playoff contender. And Denny Nugget Lion and Call of Joy is not a playoff contender. Denny Ham's in a must win situation. He has to win this race. He'll throw the whole race, to be honest, to be locked into the next round. And Briscoe, he's on the cunning torch, but he's pretty much safe, to be honest. 3 2 1 and Sunday. And that was split between Ham and Elliot. Read between them. Briscoe and the Joy did the exact same thing Custom and Burax did. This race also does not have Kostowski now, because he needed Elliot and the gun to finish last in their races. Elliot might finish first or second in this race, so... Kostowski's going to have to hope for the gun to finish last in his race, which is coming up soon. Anyways, 3 to 1 and Sunday. And it's Chase Elliot for the win. Denny Hammond is officially in the MA from the playoffs. And again, I'm not really surprised to be honest. Next race, we've got Ridden the Bell's Crystal Bell, Tyler Reddit, Justin Haley, and Chris Booster. 3 to 1 and Sunday. Tyler read it by an inch for the win. And so we've got three player tenders of Go 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 No! Will it be Byron and Deeps and then all player tender of the Buckingham himself, Ryan Newman? Two important things to note before the this race starts. One, because Lasky has to hope that Garner finished last in this race for him to get a good finish. And two, Deeps needs to win this race. He needs some good points to make it into the next round. But then again, Deeps got Newman in this race, so. Mmm. 3 to 1 and Sunday. And the Benedetto for the win! Great job here! And Byron Agano wreck out, and Agano for his last as well. That's what Kostowski needed. Next up, we have the slowest race ever. We got Curtis Bush. Everyone's favorite driver tied to them, the legend of NASCAR. Mexican boy himself, Daniel Suarez, and Bubba Juarez. Alright, whoever goes to farthest wins, because these guys are all too slow. Whoever goes to farthest wins. Then again, maybe one way across the line. 3 to 1 on Sunday. Oh. Well, Kurt Busch won by a mile. That's just quite a few people. Next up, we got Ryan Priest, Happy Harvick, and then two player tenders of Big Brad Bread, because last I know one player tender. Class of Star player tender. How? I don't know. There's some good points needed, because he must finish first or second if he wants to pass the Garner and get him out. Can he do it? I don't know. 3 to 1 and Sandy. And Kozlowski just, I think, just passed Harvick. I don't know. Ryan Priest would have win somehow, though. We all know Priest won the race somehow, and last thing got last, again, somehow. This race is for the second place spot. You can get it, because last, can you do it? I don't know, 3 to 1 Sunday. Look, it's the classic car talking about here, it's faster than that one. Because after to get second place, then after pass the Ghana though, Harvick gets third. Then the final race number one, we've got YRB, Ricky Sticker Ricky Jr., The Ace, Austin Dillon, three plug tennis, and then Mac McDale, upset winner two weeks ago. Stenhouse in a must-win situation. He has to win the whole damn race, like Hamlin, even though he didn't really do it. Can you do it? I don't know. It's going to competition be blaney, to be honest. 3 2 1 and Sunday. And 3 1 across the line. Maybe McDowell, maybe Austin, maybe Stenhouse. Definitely not blaney, though. Since it was another throw finish, it's another redo. How many redos are in this race? 3 2 1 Sunday. And it's Ricky Stenhouse for the win. Good news for him. And he's enjoying very much round of two. Are you just realizing? There's literally one four in the rest of Chevy's. First race, we got Ross Chastain, my main kid. That Joe's boy, Chase Leonte, three plug tenders, and Tyler Reddit. Three plug tenders, all done from a safe right now, Stephen Elliott, but he, let's just say he's from a safe in points, to be honest. And Tyler Reddit, well, he's just definitely upset, to be honest. Three to one and Sunday. And Ross Chastain barely enters out, Chase Elliott for the win. He will face Chastain in the fight, will be the only four in the left in this race, who is Deebs. Then, then we got two Chevrolets who don't have to make it, of Curtis Bush and Ryan Priest. And now playing the there, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Now, if someone could explain how both GT Dory Racing teammates managed to move on, I don't know. Priest is magical now. 
Stenhouse, he's kind of getting slower, but he, he's here for the win, it seems like. And Curtis Bush, don't ask how he managed to go hit and deeps. Okay, you get the drill. All right, Stenhouse is trying to look for the win. Man, he's pretty much locked in, to be honest. 3 2 1 and Sunday. And Stenhouse for the win because he wrecked everyone else. So it all comes down to this between Ross Chastain and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Both trying to look themselves into the next round, even though Chastain weren't safe, to be honest. In the 42, we have Monster Jam Lover, and the 47, we got Fake Super. One race, one winner. Who will be? Can Stenhouse come in clutch? Can he pull off the upset? Or will Ross Chastain steal another one? They're like third win the season. Oh, so Stenhouse look for his first win the season somehow. Don't ask how it's when he is first. I'm not even going to really ask, to be honest. Here we go. Let's find out. 3, 2, 1. And Sunday. And it's not enough for Stenhouse. Ross Chastain wins another one. So the aggressive fully to team of Ross Chastain for a not really needed victory. But again, it's a downhill series. So anything could happen. So, yeah. Congratulations to Monster Jane Level on their first career as well. In, like, their first start. So, I'm a great picker, I guess. So, yay. And here we are your troll drive. Move on to the next round. Kyle Busch, Amarola, Chastain. Of course, it's win. Byron, another one. Guys, of course, it's win. Elliot... Bowman, Blaney, or Fredo Stenhouse, just because of his good points today, he's in the next round. Just barely, though. Dylan, Jones, and Briscoe, they are into the next round. But sadly, four go home after today. Matt Badeno, Brax Telsky, Drew Adagano, and Danny Howland are eliminated from the playoffs. But anyway, it's time to have a day's video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a below, and I'll see you guys whenever I'm going to post a video again, which hopefully will be soon. And if you see Snow X, I'd like to Ross Chastain and Monster Jam Lover on the victory here today, though.